onwards to the snowy landscapes of the uh, Mount Everest place. Pandrana drifts. Welcome back to Let's Replay Metroid Prime, the MJ-4106. And hopefully we're going to get the majority of our uh, power-up hunting done. Hopefully all of it. Because I would appreciate that a lot. This project's going on longer than I thought it would. I thought it'd be a lot faster, but apparently... I thought I was a lot better at this game than I really am. Oh, well, I'm still finding things. Anyway, we just got the last, uh, energy tank. Now it's on to get the last of everything else. Ow. I think the best way to do this is to re-explore these areas the same way we did before. Visit every single room the same order we visited them in so we don't forget anything. And I've been getting shot for a while. Oh yeah, I didn't mention this, but I think every new suit upgrade in this game actually, um, halves the amount of damage you take. No, it didn't Super Metroid. I don't know if it did in this one, but I would guarantee that it... Well, I would say it's most likely that it does. Come on. Yeah. I hear space pirates in the air. And now they're dead. That's my favorite kind of space pirate. A dead space pirate. Okay. Now I can grab over here. I can actually shoot this hole. Maybe. Alright, good. Only two missiles. Usually I struggle with that. Incoming! Oh, never mind. It's just a bunch of ice. Nobody cares about ice. Although I do care when there is something under the ice. I even get trapped under there. It seems like it's frozen for so long. I don't know how the heck things get stuck. Oh, by the way, that's a save station up there, but I don't feel like going to that room. There's nothing else of importance. Yeah, I know. People might get upset when I'm not visiting every room. Well, I'm, I'm going where I need to. Oh, you bastard. Take that. Oh, no you don't. What the heck? Did he just decide to fall? Okay, this room we couldn't do anything before, but now that I have more upgrades, I can. Mostly because of this. Time. We are going to need the x-ray visor, believe it or not. Check it out. There's a door behind here. But it doesn't tell you how to break it down, so use your instinct to use a power bomb. They're both the same thing. And look at that. It led to a another Chozo artifact. This happens to be the artifact of Spirit, the 11th of 12. So yeah, we're going backwards now, apparently. Interesting. And there's also a hole up here. I could have gone up here a good while ago, but didn't want to. One of the only power bomb expansions you don't actually need the power bombs to get. But you will have them by the time you get there. Petro at least knows to hold back the right expansions until you have proper power-ups to get them. Or have proper use for those power-ups. Okay, I don't think there's anything in here. There is something else somewhere else I'm trying to go! Haha, -ha, you didn't get me! Haha, -ha, you have melted. Oh yeah, I probably didn't explain the uh, energy spheres at all. The purple ones restore 10 energy. The red ones restore 20, I believe. And the golden ones restore 100. 
Gold ones are only dropped by particular enemies or found in one particular set of boxes for some weird reason. And they have to be dropped by bosses frequently. There's also missile packs the size of 3, 5, and 10. Usually variable based on what you're getting it from, who you killed. What you've killed, rather. Yeah, I think I got everything here that I need. So since we have that, it's time to go back. Probably the quickest way out is this way. Ouch. Oh yeah, fun. Plasma beam works underwater. Where it was like, kind of a weird electric thing in Super Metroid, it's actual legitimate fire in this game. It's plasma, which is heat, for the most part. Yes. Ow! Yeah. Retaliation hit. I like those. And I recovered all my energy. And thankfully the power... Thankfully the plasma beam is faster than the... Ice and wave beams. Not as fast as the power beam, but a lot more useful, that's for sure. I believe the worst beam is the wave beam because of how weak it is, despite the fact that it can stun your opponents. I don't really find much use for it unless it's, like, it's more of a good defensive strategy. Okay, now to go in this place. Guess where we return to? The Pirate Research Center or whatever this place is. Space Pirate Research Center, I don't know. Let some turrets shoot me as I run over to the door. Ow. He shot. Well, I really don't feel like taking care of these stupid turrets. I'd rather just get out of the room, to be honest. Fortunately, the thermal and x ray visors, you can't really tell. What kind of color beam, what kind of color door you have to chew through. Really, you have to guess, unless you want to go out of that mode to figure it out. Now that I have the plasma beam, getting through an area like this is much easier than before. And be turrets. Sometimes enemies won't melt if they're not, like, ready to fight. I don't know why, that's kind of a glitch as well. Well, it's a minor glitch. Not a big deal, really. I can't see. Oh, wow, behind me. Damn it, I always do that. Oh, God. Okay, back up we go. Now, if you're wondering why I came back up here, you should remember that I mentioned something about, uh, ice blocking a window. Does that ring a bell? If it doesn't, it should. <coughs> because I complain all the time about how it's always blocked up when I get here. Yeah, my strategy guide says there's a 20% chance it won't be frozen when you get here. Yet the numerous, numerous, numerous times I played it, <coughs> it's always been frozen. So you can't really come back here until you have the plasma beam if it is frozen, so you can do this. There's a way to sequence break around the ice, I think. If you can find a way to shoot a missile around the invisible barrier and then hit the tank. But I have no idea how to do it. I've tried it, but, well, I can't get away from the barrier. Anyway, break that apart, and look at that. 
we have another Chozo Artifact, which happens to be the third of 12, which if that window is on Frozen, that could be the third one you get in order in this game. But unfortunately, you never get that kind of luxury. Okay, let me make sure I'm going the right way. Yep, I'm going the right way. All right, good. I don't really like these symmetrical rooms where it's kind of hard to tell where you entered and where you left or where you want to leave. Kind of a pain. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna ignore the space pirates and get the hell out of here. Could you stop shooting me? Oh, you took the bullet form. How nice of you. You can also stop their explosions by melting them. They're one of the few machines that can actually be melted by the plasma beam. Others just blow up normally. By others, I mean the turrets. Not everything burns, but the ones that do, it's so satisfying to actually burn them. As long as I run a zigzag path, they can't shoot me. Promise that. Ow, I've been shot. Ah, oh, there we go. Just melt every single pirate. That makes life a lot better for everybody. By everybody, I mean me. I always mean me because the pirates don't mean shit. Now we're back to this part. Which reminds me I probably should have gotten another power up earlier. Whoops. Anyway. Oh man. It looks like you can actually sneak through these rooms if you don't get detected by the sentry drones. Can you just block my plasma beam with your laser? I think they lock if they detect you. Damn, I never tried that before. What the? I got stuck. I literally just got stopped. It looked like the game lagged, but I just got stuck. Oh yeah, Sheikoff isn't a one-time enemy, by the way. They sneak around. And now you have the plasma beam. They're nothing. You don't have to worry about missile limitations. You can just blast them free will. They can't absorb fire and are super vulnerable to it. We're going to handle them. Oh, they do that roar when they're weak. Eh, I can still damage him after he's already dead. Please give me... Yes. Power bomb. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, yeah. Long reach, Al. Now, I should have come here after coming out of the elevator that brought me back to Pendrana Drifts. But I kind of forgot about it like I usually do. Because the door I came out of would have led me directly to those grappling hooks. So I could get this missile expansion. But for some reason, I always forget about that one. And it's always... It never sticks out of my mind. It's always just... Bleh. It's always bleh. It doesn't like to appear in daylight. I don't know. Oh no, I almost stopped him from protecting me. Oh well. Eh, you gave me nothing worthless scum. Ah, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh man, I didn't think they'd hear me. Bad I'm the loudest thing around here. Alright. Now is where a lot of power up collecting begins. Because there's a lot of stuff around here. 
For example, there's that power bomb expansion just sitting in the ice hole. Sitting right in your ice hole. Now this, this area probably is the most power-ups that I could have gotten earlier, but it's one of those things, it's probably just better to collect them in a big bulk once you have a lot more power-ups. Instead of just coming back once you get one. Really not worth coming back for these power-ups unless you're like really stuck in a part of the game and having a lot of trouble, like with the Omega Pirate. That's when you could just go and try to find everything you can and then come back and deal with it, but otherwise just try to get them all in bulks when it's convenient. How speedrunners do it. Do what they can to get through the game and then they just collect all the power-ups in bulk for, well that's for the 100% speedrunners. Normal speedrunners don't give a damn about power-ups. So it's not even worth going after them if you're not gonna, you know, collect everything. Now you try to throw ice at me, you bastard. How dare you! Alright. So a couple more. Like, back here. For some reason you can break other ice, yet this one actually legitimately melts. I don't know why they decided to change it up, but they did. But yeah, that's a thing that happens. And I'm taking the wrong platform again, like usual. I meant to go over here, to go over here. This I probably could have actually gotten a good while back. Eh. I didn't know the spider ball, so wouldn't have been able to be done. Yeah. All right, time to go back through here. By the way, I don't know what the maximum number of power bombs is that I can carry. I'm sure I have enough. As far as I know. Okay. Back in here. That's right. There's more ice to deal with. We'll lead to another one of these glowing pair of Shozo statue hands. Let's be a good bounty hunter and enter those hands. Huh. Why was that door destroyed by just putting weight on a scale? Nah, whatever. Well, now we have the ninth artifact out of twelve. We're still missing two more. Yeah, if you didn't notice, the uh, plasma beam happens to get you a lot of stuff. Decided to make it a better backtracking tool than anything. Although they do make you require it in order to get to the phase on suit. The way to get there. Alright, we now have everything in Vendor on Drifts. So I'll let us go back. There's actually very few things we have left to go for. In fact, I think you'll see in a bit, you'll be told when you have everything in the game. An indication of some sort. Oh wait, what am I... I'm an idiot, I forgot. You can check how much percentage you have when you pause. God, I'm dumb. You can also see at the main menu. It always tells you what percentage you're at before you start the file. Both in Game Ben Wii version. So I had pause, I have 95% acquired items. I know exactly what they mean by that.
them, uh, if you're unfamiliar, Metroid games tend to have make it easy to remember 100% of the items. How do they do that? Why make it so you have to collect 100 items? Convenient, right? And the percentage of game completion is based on the items collected, so... You can go for a low co you can go for a low percentage completion run if you wanted to. Though you can avoid power-ups like the ice spreader, the wave buster, the flamethrower. And uh what other optional power-ups are there? Pretty much all the expansions you can miss out on, although not advised unless you're doing it on very low difficulty or are very, very skilled. In which case, good for you. Okay, here we go, incoming scan data. Analysis of Artifact Temple complete. Return artifacts to gain access to Impact Crater. So there you go. The hint system has basically told us... We do have another area we haven't gone to yet. But we need all the artifacts in order to make it useful. So you're wondering why the artifacts are so important? You'll find out soon enough. I said soon enough. Want to know now? You're gonna have to wait because it's not soon enough yet. You'll know when it is. Ow! Our new zoomers. Oh God, Beetle Horde! All right, there's not much left to get actually, because I think the um, we have all the energy tanks. I have seven power bombs. I believe the maximum is eight. Which we might have. Okay. Now, I don't know if I ever looked at this. Yet. Yeah. There's a grapple beam hook here. Alright, so you can now kill the blood flowers with a uh, plasma beam. You don't have to just shoot their poisonous gas. Here's a fun little scan. These water droplets seem to be stopping in midair. There's only a couple areas I have that because invisible platforms. Yay. If I take these, I can jump into this hole. But if I go out of the x-ray visor, I can see it's clearly behind a big batch of bushes. You can see you can't really see it from here. I also need a plasma beam to get up here to the missile expansion. And now 250 missiles. I'm at 97% of items collected. Now we can leave. Ah! I love blowing them up with those. Sacks are always fun to destroy. Okay, I'm gonna end the episode soon. I think I'll just go to the ship and save. So, have two more artifacts to find, and we'll go find we'll go find them next time. Hopefully, they're convenient places. Oh wait, a vision's coming to me. All the way on the other side of the planet. Are you kidding me? Damn it! <laughs>